let's start the setup. Asian session. Uh, we already had Sydney open and uh, starting out with Neo Protocol because I put a call out to the VIPs earlier and uh, seems like we're pretty good. Looks like we're getting a pop now. Might be, um, yeah, it might be a recovery of this down move. But we're going to know pretty quick as we get into the EMA cloud. Ooh, what do I do here? Drag that? Let's not do that. Yeah, so as price comes into the CMA cloud on the five, we're going to want to see it go right through. We want to knife through this really quick. In fact, we've got the 200 right here. So <clears throat> a decent scenario would be if it came in, rattled around, sat on top, but the 200 kind of held it, that'd be okay as long as it resolved itself relatively quickly. Because um, what you don't want is like, say, this action where it comes up into the cloud, gets stuck under that 50 read, just bounces around sideways because you know you, this just spells doom. So just like here, how price came in, didn't waste time. Didn't waste time, made short work of it and just blasted through to the other side. This is exactly what you want to see. Whether or not it holds above it is, is irrelevant. If you took a long here, like because you could start longing something like this, a move like this. Um, would I? Probably not because uh, this was a short that I think was going to come all the way down into the 618 anyway. Um, this was my target, this line right here, 146. Even though we're close, I mean, actually, let me, sit, let me check the Stokes on this. I just sat down. So, huh. yeah, this could be a fake out right here. I mean, look, they drove it up right just to come right back down. That's on the one minute. Um, yeah, so that I would just really pay attention to what's going on right now, and this doesn't bode well at the moment. Uh, on the five here, looks like it wants to, it's going to get itself stuck underneath here and just drive it down further. Uh, how much further? Mm. I still, I'm, I'm still holding this, uh, this line right here because the 800 is coming in, and uh, if this is going to remain in a bullish posture, this is the last opportunity to really remain in a, a decent bullish posture because it'll have given up 61 percent, 61.8 percent of this move. Okay, so. It already gave away the. Uh, it it held this for the. Uh, this quick fib, the short fib up here, two thirty six, held it for a minute. I mean, after it got up here, but uh, that was it. So, didn't hold the three eight two. And uh, not giving much reason right now that it's going to hold the six one eight just yet. So, actually, let's take a look at the broader market. See what's going on with. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh, that's not a good chart. There we go. Let's see if this is giving any clues. Not really. So this could just be this is just a normal normal day for near protocol. Let me get back to the, this chart. Is that the one? No. So Yeah, this thing moves aggressively, so I could, like I said, see it getting stuck in this cloud. We'll check back on it in a, in a few minutes because it's active right now. Tokyo, this is the Tokyo Open. Really, Hong Kong brings the fireworks, or could. So we'll see how that does. But I know, Ant, you were talking about Pepe, and I, I've actually wanted to get involved in Pepe actually have one I mean after it <laughs> after it smoked everybody <laughs> you know I see all these influencers talking about this thing when it dropped back here you know when it came out so now it's getting interesting though now at least we have uh, this is the one hour at least we have an 800 EMA in play now uh, 
it looks like I said earlier on the call, on the VIP call, that I started seeing that uh, this is the most talked about meme coin uh, currently. So, you know, when you think about when Doge released and then, you know, your safe moons and then you had uh, Shiba, you know, an Elon coin and all this nonsense. Like when they were the darlings, man, they ripped. They really were fun to play. But let's see here, what are we looking at? We're going to give some of this back, aren't we? Actually, this looks just like Nier. It's a very similar play to Nier. Uh, it just gave away the 200 on this move on the 30 minute. Looks like she's going to give it up right now. So it looks like the 800. Yeah, it doesn't have enough history. It's hard. A little harder. Let's get a fib on here. And I'm not a fib trader at all. Not at all. I don't, you know, I didn't even believe in them. But it's more has to do with uh, the philosophy of how I trade. Uh, and that's built around volume, built around, um, you know, what the market maker is doing. And, you know, people trade these. People use these extensions to put orders in. So the market maker will exploit that. And that's what I'm looking to do. I'm just looking to exploit... Uh, obvious points in the chart like this one right now this is a breakdown this crossover uh, yeah on the 30 minute I don't know if you're playing it this way Ant, but on the 30 minute this thing is done it's cooked it's gonna lose the daily open so if it doesn't turn around you know right now on the using this bounce at the 382 uh, it's just gonna attack this yesterday's low and then probably collapse through uh, looks similar to like near. So we're at the, we started off here at the M3 at the New York Open. And let's take a look. Let's take a look at the business that the New York session is in. What they like to do. They ran price hot through the Brinks box to induce traders into longing at the absolute highest point in the chart at this at this time, right? Because <clears throat> I bet if you looked at this at high block, this is a ton of buying going on right here. I mean, for the, uh, I should say ton, but for the moment, I mean, yeah, th these are longs put in by retail and, uh, you know, market maker happily took the short. So it doesn't look like he's ready to cover yet. It looks like he's uh, looking for lower prices with these spikes down here. See if there's interest to get lower. So I would I would expect price to come into the three A two for uh, for a longer longer stint. And even so, even more so, the uh, touch this ping off this eight hundred and start interacting with it. It's new, so let me see if it's done it on the 10 minute oh there you go 10 minute yeah you get a better look now it's respecting it more in the 10 minute and here you go so this is the this is the type of action you see it's using the 10 knife right through the 10 broke it now this was a move just to get you out of these so that the market maker could accumulate get it below the 800 get people to get rid of their position because they're worried about this right here. Yeah, 10 minute 800 on Pepe. Looks really good, Ant. That looks really good. And here we are, we're sitting right at it. Yeah, because what'll happen too, on this particular move, if it breaks, uh, if it breaks and starts trading below this, it's got the 382 fib to kind of hold it, but yesterday's low, but it breaks these, it's, it's just going to collapse down, in my opinion. I think it can collapse down relatively fast, too. Let's see. So, give it bounce around a little bit, get under. 
come back up, try to retest, hit this liquidity pool. I mean, I don't know how long this would take, but here's where it would need to, uh, you'd ultimately want it to bounce here and then start working its way back up, right? For it to remain uh, bullish. And that's consistent with, um, it's probably a big old vector candle right here. Let's see what it looks like on the hour. How quick did this do this thing, this move? Let's try a four hour. All right. Yeah, so the 618 looks like uh, that's the halfway mark between from the bot from this to this candle, these two candles basically, these two four hours. So I would split that in half. I kind of like that. It also aligns with uh, we got this last structure here. There's another structure here too. But, oh no, this was the big one. Got through that. This is decent volume. This one, not so much. This one, not so much. So this is the one I'd be looking at. This is why I think the 618 would be the bounce point. Uh, come in, clear this liquidity, and, you know, now we got, now we're under the 50. It also gives it a chance for, for those ribbons, the shorter term ribbons, uh, they'll come down and collapse, and they'll start to be able to make crosses up again. Right, so with a move like this, this 800 will flatten out. These guys will dip down, and the eight, then the 200 will be uh, sitting pretty to get crossed up again. If it comes into the 618, if it if it stays stays up here on this 382, what you're looking for is, uh, you know, you'd want it to stack. You want it to get out of dodge again, get up to this. Uh, last week's high and look to challenge this next area up here so it can start to get out of here right it didn't make it on this push and it's got two of them to deal with it's got that one and they're both pretty close and it's got this one So, what are these moves, man? I can't I have a tough time deciphering with all these goddamn zeros how many percentage points that is. I mean, this was 39%, so let's see what this is going to give me. All right, that's a 25% flag from here. Actually, it wouldn't bounce there. Uh, we probably see it bounce off this three. So the top one, 44%. 30% here. And if it comes all the way in, on the downside, that's a nice trade too. So that's 18% to the downside. Now let's see what these, I don't like the, I mean for longs, I don't like where the RSI is. It's deep. This is the 30 minute too, and the 30 minute for me is the rub. That's where, you know, I think the changeover happens to where you can see if, if you know, it's going to flip long to short for a lot of these coins. Sometimes it's the 15. I, I've used the 30 a lot though. Um, hour. I mean, Stokes are turning up on the hour. This, this it could be consistent with this busting through and then getting out and sitting on top, but we're just getting out of uh, bullish control if it does that on the hourly. 30 minutes in, you know, you're just going to get deeper into this. Oh, there we go. Five minute popped. It just did it too. <laughs> oh, it did it. It did it at the, on this, on this big candle. Okay. So we were already, we were just bleeding out and this candle reversed everything, reverse course for us. Okay. I'll see you market maker.
So, hmm. like, there's an interest to hold price in this range here. Yeah, I think if it breaks down in, into this wick at all, I'd be uh, <coughs> I'd be looking at that short to come for it to then break down past three eight two. Like if I were to take a short based off of this breaking down below this box, or even saying, hey, you know, screw it, it's already it's already failed the two hundred. Uh, you know, we have failure pattern here, couldn't hold above it. It's not going to make it. It may run back up, tap it, and come back down. But the point is, if you were to take a short here, what would get you out is if this thing starts moving aggressively into this cloud. Now, it could fake you, tap the 50, and then just like it does to the upside, like or something like this. Now, this is at the EU breaks. You can see the business that they put into people because that's exactly what they did. So this is the type of price action you gotta watch out for. So if you take a short here based on, hey, I think this is gonna drop further down, you may run into this very move. To, and look at the wick too. So they drove price with vectors through to the top of the, the channel, closed it, stop hunted, and then immediately reverse course, drove it down back through the channel. Only to what? That's right, bring it right back up in your face again, <laughs> even higher. And then hand it off to New York, which just really pulls the dirty on you. So this is these are this yeah this is a fun coin. You're right. You are definitely right. You just got to spend some time with it to try to find the uh, patterns. I think maybe you have. So that's why you're having so much fun with it. But yeah, I, this this would be an easy play for me to to watch this right now. And it doesn't look like it's doing well at that uh, at that inflection point here on the five. This is this is the telltale. Look at it. Look at how many times it's failed. Perfect example: one, two, three, four failure pattern, five rejections, six rejections, six. So, is this the one? knowing a couple candles I forget what this green one is it's not a common uh, EMA but that's about to cross the 800 as well I think it's like a I think a 444 this is a 200 800 looks like it's in the middle I think that's a 444 or something like that But, yes, yeah, really pay attention to what Pepe is going to do right about now. Let that one bake for a minute. I'm interested in waves. Because I played this one too. And I did not know that it did this absolute treachery. <laughs> In 11 hours, 45 minutes, 84% on a defunct stable coin. Man. Living in another universe. And here she goes again. She's <laughs> peeking its head up right now. So here you go. Here's, here's a nice little signature. It sits above the 800. I would have go, I would have gone in for a long on this, on this move. Stoke, uh, here's here's the problem, is the five minute Stokes was elevated. You'd had to if if you use that as a rule, you would have had to break, broken that rule to take this trade. But RSI is digging right out of this. Uh, let's have to see. Oh yeah, look at that. The shape is really nice. 
Yeah. So what will happen is at 211.75 right here, you're going to see it's, either gonna, it's probably going to blast right through it this time. And if not now, um, I could see it handing off to uh, Hong Kong and just ripping this range. It's going to make short work of all this right here. 7. You got about 7%. All right, 6 and, six and 3 quarter percent. That's why I think it's going to just blast right through. It might get to 75, 275. Like on this move. Somewhere in there. And, and I'll, and listen, this move, it'll take all the 20 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes, maybe. If it sticks with it. And it's going to let you know really quick right now. All right, what's the one minute doing? Yep. Oh, yeah, she's pushing. So all that has to happen now is this five minutes start start cutting up into the into the uh, bullish control because it didn't even need to over here, and uh, we were at uh, 223. So <clears throat> now that we've had time to sit, accumulate around a strong EMA at the 800, uh, it dips down, fans the ribbons out, creates every single bullish cross that you can, you know, activating every single bot that trades off of that, those signatures, one after the next, after the next, after the next. Then every, uh, you know, TikToker or whoever who's, who's been pumping the shit out of this piece of garbage, they're going to get their alert. Bing, 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 bing. So here's what's going to happen. It's going to break that. Sit for like a, probably a fucking millisecond. And then I don't know. I haven't smoked enough to figure that out yet. Because <laughs> look at this RSI. Look how hot. Now, all that need a couple more ticks, but it's hotter than this one. <laughs> that got us to, to 227, so, you know. We're sitting in some uh, bullish divergence right here. What's the overall market doing? BTC isn't even doing anything. So, wow, people. We're a bunch of degenerates, I have to tell you something, man. The worst get. Look at what's moving. Jasmine is up. Actually, I think everything's flipping as we speak. Hold on. No, not Bitcoin. Stuff moving up. What's going on here? Oh, did the day change? Yes, the daily open. That's up. Silly me. I wonder why everything everything went back to like parody. And waves, look, and waves first mover. <laughs> waves is the first mover. What'd I tell you? Oh, it's blue vectors though. It's not I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough. And for those who don't know uh, the principle of the uh, vector candles. Go over to uh, Trader's Reality, Tino. Oh, my God, the guy's legendary. Should, should be legendary in the space up there with Crown and, and uh, Tim. Uh, he explains this very well, but all this blue candle, look at this. Come on, Ant. Uh, the, the, the blue vector candle, 150% of the previous volume of, uh, of the previous 10 candles. Greens are 200%. Those are to the upside. The reds and... Uh, Future are the same to the downside. So Fuchsia, or whatever you want to call this, 150%, uh, and the red ones are 200%. So 
I use the vector candles in the, in the principle of, you know, this is when, uh, when I see, I, I can exploit the charts. This is when the market maker is at work. This is when the most volume is in the charts. This is when you can get orders filled or, or you know, in size. See if this is the fake out, baby. Still up three, per, almost three percent though on the day. And it's not. I don't think it's fake. I think they're going to take it. Was this the five minute? What's the one doing? Ooh, I hate when it looks like that. The one minute does that all the time. Oh, here we go. Three minute. Let's see what it does at this uh, at the eight hundred here. Not that it's respected it much, but sometimes it'll just bounce. No, it's not going to do it. 44 seconds. Now it's going to be a five. So all the, really what's happening here is they're just trying to unwind this, keep this cross from happening. This 50, the 50 over 200 on the five. Like here. And here where it uh, skim plays, you know. This is just the bears trying to tap down. Because if this happens too aggressively, you know, price is going to run like this. This 800 cross comes in like this. So the, oh, sorry, this was the 200. So, yeah, this cross comes in, price is going to move. And it was moving in anticipation. That could have been... The, does it front run it? No. The peak of the move is the cross. Huh, interesting. Let's see. So on the five minute. Yeah, that was the peak of it. Right at the cross. And this cross hasn't happened yet. May happen out here. So, yeah, that's why I think this is going up. Bears couldn't unwind that cross last time. Eight hundred's flat. It's not going to be flat for long either. It doesn't tend to stay flat long, you know. Let me stretch it out on that. That's why I like the screen. This long ass screen, man. It gives you it gives you this different view. Because I see this, and I recognize that this can't stay flat much longer. This cannot stay flat much longer. Yeah, so I'm looking for the peak. Yeah, a couple can couple couple ticks more <clears throat> on waves here. I think it's gonna make this cross. The fifty over where are all my tags here? Fifty over two hundred, just like it did right here. And look what it did. Put in a big old bar, right? After it, it got going in anticipation of that cross coming. So it looks like the bull bots are in charge of, uh, of waves right now, or the bull algos, I should say bots, but you know, humans are more bots <laughs> doing this stuff than the goddamn computers. Yeah, this is just going to follow a pattern. It's just going to most likely, probability, highly probable, that's going to do the similar thing back here. This though, look at these candles, these got, candles got hammered down hard, real hard. This looks like if this continues, you see this pattern? One, two, it's, it's like a springboard, you know? Like this guy, he fucking got too big of a, a big of an arc on his jump. And woo, oh shit. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't hang on to it. This guy though was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this little bang, 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 bang. All right, so this looks like it's gonna bounce and hold. 
again. It has, it has opportunity to, it has a signature. I'm glad I put that line in there so it could just grab it and go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is, so on the one minute, one minute looks a little different. I'm not going to move that around. Get the point. This thing crossed and pew, put in a put in a lightsaber. Well, that looked nice. Look at this. Now, this is I appreciate this right here. Like, listen, listen. This is you should who who whoever whoever's running waves, the trading. You know how long how long did they allow this to happen? 58, 6 p.m. to, hey, listen, maybe two hours. Maybe two hours to accumulate this thing right here. I mean, you wouldn't have bought it here. I mean, you would have been a psychopath to buy it here, you know. But once you got the first cross up, rise, retrace, continuation. Right, so they gave you the inclination that they were going to go higher. They moved price up aggressively, got it above the fifty. Right, this is all in the one minute though. So, but if you go to the five, you see how this materialized. Look, I mean, beautiful accumulation zone. Thank you, Mr. Market Maker. They gave you time. They didn't even try to shake you out. They did not even try to shake you out right here. And look at what they blessed you with. Right? They gave you the they gave you the up move. They did not they didn't even get into the into the uh, the cloud yet. Pullback, you would have you could have bought this pullback if you missed this. Cuz you probably wouldn't have bought this. I mean, you wouldn't have bought in here anyway cuz this would have been another failure. I think it's going to go lower. But then all of a sudden Mr. Market Maker shows himself. Bang. And he says, price is, price is going higher now. And lets his presence be known. You know, what do we do? We don't even get a, you know, didn't challenge that low. And here we go, steady march. Cross, 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 cross. And then rise, retrace. This is textbook too. This is perfect. This is what you want to see. Cross the 50, aggressive. What's here? 200. Stops on a dime at the 200. Candles do not close above it. You couldn't write this any better. Tino should see this. Comes right back into where? The 50. And then what does it do? Explodes like it should. Just like, hey, come on, you want to see? You know? I mean, pattern look familiar? Just make this uh, make this one hot, hot, hot pink. Actually, should do it in white. But I mean, this is it. And then, oh yeah, and then and then you got to get your. Uh, yeah, your, your hash lines in. And what are those? What? What? what are, here, we'll move them up a little bit. Right? What are those? Because if you're a real trader, you took profits. <laughs> All right, you took profits. So, an ode to my man Tino. Uh, from Traders Reality, because if you can learn these concepts um, and pair it up with what Tim teaches, I mean, you can own 
literally own the short time frames. You print money. Do you see what's happening here? I, I, I don't, I had played waves uh, a while back, but I only started looking at the chart again a few hours ago. It is blatantly obvious what's going on here <laughs> and who's in control. All right. So, you know, if this were on the high block, you know, what you would have seen up here is a uh, fat liquidity pool. You would have seen traders going long right here in this red vector candle. This is the tragedy. <laughs> Folks, this is the tragedy because these people, in all likelihood, if, if price doesn't continue, it, actually, I think it's continuing anyway. All right, so let's, you know, my call is like further up, but um, so I think it puts another leg. As long as here, here it is, this, this RSI signature has to hold down here. See this? So I talked about that springboard. So he came in, he didn't come in as hot too. He had a softer landing. So this next bump may not be, uh, may not be as high, you know what I mean? <coughs> but because he is valuing uh, the, his kneecaps <laughs> and not coming in so high, he may get more opportunities to bounce again. So we may get lucky with another consolidation point somewhere around here where, where I'm drawing because if not these people just got sauced they, they actually did high leverage guys are um, they're not with us anymore <laughs> sorry that went in up here you know because because uh, waves I think is I don't know how high you can go on waves but I think some of these exchanges will let you go fucking 100 200x on anything so you know those guys that do stuff like that I mean just this wick right here you know, we got them. <laughs> Thanks for playing. You know? So, my days. Tina, where are you? You would love this play. This is textbook because I think we're putting another leg in, like I suggested. So, this is just the beginning of the move, right? But unfortunately, I'm t dollars to donuts, there are a lot of people that just got wiped out right there in that, in that. Red Vector. That was probably a green vector. For the, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. This this was half of this was 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 bullish, right? And they and they just turned on a dime. So at the highest point in the chart at this point in, the, in time, uh, market maker convinced people uh, this is the absolute time you want to be buying, and then a promptly reverse course. You know, which to, to new traders is going to be inexplicable as to why I could buy something here and then would lose. Okay, 1.64%. Okay, I'm a 10x trader. 16.5% in three minute candle. So, you know, let's understand what we're talking about. Like, if you're using stop losses, is in any normal capacity, you know, to the tune of somewhere around three and a half, four percent, what have you, um, or or if you're a maniac and uh, you, you know eight to ten percent, you're just getting wiped out. You're getting obliterated in this in three minutes to take to to go long at that point. And that's what that green vector candle does. That's that's why you don't buy the green vector candle as illustrated down here in this region, when the green vector came into play, if you bought it at the highest point in the chart, they did the exact same thing. It is a mirror image play. They stole your money here and said, you know what? I'm willing to bet in about 40 minutes we could do it again. Because they're going to forget. Or they just have their stupid programs running and they think that, the, you know, 
the machine learning AI bot fucking thing that they purchased is going to work. I don't even know what the hell they're doing. And yeah, you're just you're just creating the pattern so that it makes it even that much easier for the market maker to come in and pick your pocket. So if you like think you're buying an AI algorithmic trading bot that's going to help you make fucking money in the market, you probably couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> you're probably giving your money away on both ends to the person who sold it to you and then to the market maker and traders like people in our group that know how to exploit these scenarios in the charts because they just play out over and over and over and over again because inexperienced traders bring their money to the to the to the game just to be taken by far more experienced traders and real algorithmic uh, uh, training systems run by people with fucking degrees. <coughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that. 211 was hit. Fucking surprise. Yeah, let's see, home at 615. Yeah. All right. That means I'm going to be off by six. All right, look at that. I got 25 minutes. That's nice. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, man. Come on. It's going to break it. It's going to break this like, like it's going to be a joke. So, yeah, these people right here, by the way, these brave souls who longed, because they longed in size in this region did not are not even experiencing what's about to happen which is a, a bust through of this hold on let me see if it's going to do it that's yeah yeah it's probably going to do it <laughs> it's probably going to do it rsi and look stokes held up you might get a mid reset cuz uh, these things like to do halfway stuff and just reset and just keep on pumping like this shit you know, over, over here, it doesn't even go down. Here it goes down, the price barely goes down. You know, oh, bruv. Oh, man, I hope Tino's group is looking at this, uh, at, at this chart right now because, like. <laughs> Oh, my days from across the pond, buddy. Cheers. You guys, I hope you're hitting it. Because this thing is spot on. Oh. Oh, man. Shame on my people that didn't show up. Ugh. In all fairness, I'm starting my live shows back up again. It's been a year hiatus for me, so. Um, but, man, what a time to get back into crypto. Yeah, it's happening again, kids. So anybody who is lucky enough to be along with me for the, the near ride, the KNC, the SNX, um, yeah, Money Printer Girl Burr, it's going to happen again. Uh, these, these same patterns are playing out. And actually, this time around, it's, uh, the, the precision uh, should be applauded because these guys know what they're doing. This isn't no Alameda research. Uh, three hours fucking capital. You know, these are the real deal, guys. They are, they're, they're landing price on a dime. So, uh, this is going to be fun. The last ride was incredibly fun. But I couldn't draw this picture. I can tell you that right now. I could not draw a price path this good and see it like this and, and know without a shadow of a doubt that this was going to play out. But not sure. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't sound like that. It's, it's just the probability was so high as to what was happening here. It, it just became obvious at this point. 
at yeah, the point this retrace happened, I just, you know, it just started drawing the picture because it was clear. What wasn't clear quite yet was if we were going to be blessed with the hot sauce through the zone <laughs> and get the continuation. But what's really diabolical about that is that these people and these people, these heroes, I mean, heroes are just not participating in this. <laughs> you know, at all. You know, these are going to be like our first passengers to Mars, man. like these guys right here. All right, they're going to get cooked in the atmosphere. Yeah, this is what happens when you try to fly too close to the sun. You get burnt to a crisp. Because these people who did this on high leverage are ready to quit crypto right now. Like ready, ready to give up trading right, right about now. You know, if, if this has happened to them too many times. And, you know, most is it's not the first time for most. So now here we go. We're about to make work on this area. I told you this was the area I was concerned with, good high volume. But this is the real one, right? So this is where I, pre I expected price to stall. We took a stab above. Market Maker is probing to see if there's interest up here. If he can get price higher, if there's... If orders sneak into the book and someone's like, "Yeah, I'll take fucking five thousand, or I'll sell, I'll sell a bunch of my stuff up here," you know, and uh, that's that's what that spikes about. You know, he's probing to see if he can get some somebody else to give away their shit up here, right? Get your, their shit, give away their 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 coins, you know. Because you may be building a position now. And you're going to know if this is going to stay in a bullish posture really quick. Because what? we got to rise, retrace, continuation, right, is what you want to see. That's all you want to keep seeing now is just this pattern, keep replaying over and over and over and over again if it's super bullish. Well, why would it keep playing over? Watch super bullish. Well, we got another open, uh, you know, Hong Kong session's opening up. So you may get a handoff to Hong Kong where there's a slight accumulation and then they just continue to the upside and begin to attack this liquidity pool up here. Right? Where Hong Kong lasts... Oh, hey, guys. Isn't that interesting? This is the last place Hong Kong sold from. Just so you know. If, if you think that they're going to run the play again, they did it right here. <laughs> it's literally right here, the play from this. A little higher spot, though, and they didn't get as much as a pump. Watch. Yeah, I'll take it. Yep, here we are. That'll punch it to the exact same spot. I, I don't I don't think that's what's happened. I think we're started from a different point. See, th this I'm starting it from below. This is all above the 800. So if I take this from above the 800 from where we actually started ripping from, take it right from there. Yeah. It gets us, it gets us to right where the last place the market maker sold from. So if you're wondering, there's no mystery to what's like going on here, right? Like at some point during this Hong Kong session, it's highly probable that price is going to, if everything remains in this bullish posture, these crosses come up like, you know, you got to follow what the hell's going on. Bitcoin could just say, you know, thanks for playing, but, you know, we're going to, Bitcoin's going to decide to fail at the 800 right here, right? So you should be paying attention to this as well. It's only the five minute, but it's not like the, you know, the five minute failure, it hasn't produced some moves. You know, you wouldn't want this coming down below 30,000, right? So... You know, that, that would 
that could definitely uh, hamper things for something like uh, waves. You know, this move to the upside. But yeah, that's that's some fun, man. All right, let's see what's going on with uh, near or Pepe. Pepe, Pepe, playing along just nice. Coming into the 800 or 200. That should be interesting. Let's see, we're getting some messages here. Let's. Why am I even seeing this? Okay. Got 15. Yeah, Pepe doing expected. Where is. What else did I mess around with? Near. I can't forget my baby. Oh, my baby back, baby back, baby back. And yeah, look, I mean, I, I'm not a fib trader either, but sometimes I throw them on, especially with moves like this, these really big, these parabolic ones, because it, they just get traded a lot in crypto for. You know, I just think a lot of uh, they're they're easy to use. You don't you don't need uh, any more knowledge than just wherever that line is, right? You don't need to know the why, right? Like I, so for me, it's more about I understood that uh, this again. This is the last place that uh, is probably on the hourly or something big. Yeah, it's the exact fucking spot. So this is where they sold from. So I know as near makes its way back up, like I'm looking for it to attack these local highs, right? So once it breached this, it was gonna be a fast move. Why? There's no more fucking highs. So once it got here, what did it do? Pause. Right, it paused before, but the point is, I mean, you had free reign to take a long here and just stick in it, let it run from this cross. 125 right and just know that boom the this region taken out I mean this is a gift you know your first stop 8.7 percent yep so really you would get stopped right around here 12 percent you could stay into this trade for 12 12 percent and not even have to worry about what's going on if you waited saw this type of action 200 200 200 this is in the hourly guys hourly so as this comes up across the 200 you could have taken this trade right after this green candle full confirmation because on the 30 you would have been even earlier on the five you would have been in it like well, buck 25 and you would have had a trade just you could put a stop loss in. You could go to sleep. <laughs> in this fucking volatile thing. And on 10x, that's 128%. Now, how long did it take? Get ready to stab yourself in the eye. I mean, 10%, which would have been 100% on 10x, was achieved in a one day, 10 hours. Now, you would have been shaken out of this freaking thing at 10x right here by all rights. But if you if this is the signature and the way you're playing this thing, you're probably coming in on the retrace right here. But if you held this thing 25, 250%, would it take? Five days. But again, you pro I mean, this is how I killed it in near last time was identifying like oscillations that were just like this over and over and over and over again that just repeated themselves so easy but now what we have we're just blessed with these movements right here they just drop so goddamn fast or rip so fast to the upside that they pr provide such an imbalance in the chart that price has to come back to them it's almost a guarantee that the entirety up until this move, that fast move will be reclaimed almost like, almost like a gap up in the stock market. You can think of it like that. Almost like a gap up in the stock market. That price is going to have to come in 
and rectify all this, like from there, right? That's what I want to see because it, it immediately went up and came down and bounced. What it bounced on the 382, right? So wanting to keep, it failed the, the fast fib up here, but came into the, the most probable fib for a bounce to keep bullish. And it did. It stayed bullish. It honored it. It stayed above the 50. It even came in, tested lower, and gave you the impression where at the New York Bricks, these guys know how to make money. And what did they do? They initiated a run to the upside with more volume in that one single candle okay than the previous evening <laughs> all right so that's what they did in five minutes to give you the impression that this was happening again because look it was a bigger more buying it was more aggressive you were already above the, the 50. They thought this was the beginning of the continuation of another flag pattern. These is what, this is how pattern traders, solely pattern traders get destroyed because it broke their tr upper trend line. And what did they do? They market bought in size because their programming tells them this is about to happen right here. They think they're at the beginning of another 15 or 20% move to the upside right now. That's how they're programmed to trade. And the New York market makers know that. And they are very good at exploiting that because they immediately ripped it right back down into the Brinks box to do what? Bring it right back up to the exact same spot again to do what? bring it right back down and just completely ring the bell all goddamn day long all morning anyway they were done by lunch <laughs> with this guy they were done at lunchtime 1.45 p.m. and then at the end of the day oh this is only 2 p.m. look at that 2 p.m. they gave you the first step the second step came uh, came at the market close. So I think there's the old three step coming in, baby. So it may go lower. <clears throat> Excuse me, but yeah, if the if the three step plays out, then it's it's coming down to the it's gonna give most of the sub come down into the seven eight six, or at least half of this stuff, you know. And it, and it's consistent with uh, say breaking into here and, and just trading in here a little bit right where where this zone is so that's that's my next that would be my next area to say would come might come into here if it trickles down further and adjust just from saying here now the price is traded like this for a bit yeah but make no mistake, I mean, this thing could be back up, you know, testing this, the, these highs at 162 by tomorrow morning. You know, New York Brinks. I, actually, I would fully expect it because that's the play. They've just been rolling over and over and over again. They've just been rolling, rolling these fucking clowns over. It's ridiculous. I mean, Ant, look at this. They're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. This big drop, I mean, near, I just, I just explained at 125, once it broke this, you had free reign to a 12% move to the upside, unabated. Like this was the only scary point right here that would have got you, but I mean, holy crap. Two times too. Played perfect to the, you know, rise, retrace, continuation. It just played perfect to it. Right till we get to the next, uh, you know, major stumbling block, next major liquidity, boom, this next trading block. And we'll stop there, pinged it twice, and then blasted right through it, right? So that's where the most logical place it was going to come back to because it didn't trade there at all on this way up. So now it's got to come back. 
rectify the imbalance, which it is right now. Slip below the 50 on the 30 minute. And I just adjusted this to suggest I think it's going to come into here instead of just stay up here. I think it'll come in here and use the 200 now. Now that's gotten so low. I mean, it's an easy stab, even if it just wicks. You know, it makes sense. That's what I would do. And these are pros. These are pros running these running these coins now. I can really see it. You can really see it. So, well, where was it? Waves. Yep. Let's see what it did. Like. To, to a T. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to follow it almost exactly, which is ridiculous. But, you know, it just becomes really obvious that, you know, this is the zone they were going to trade in. If the, and if they break this, uh, this region here, you know, then we're going to attack this area. This is where New York sold from. Looks like uh, Hong Kong's either going to, you know, bring it up, up into where they last sold from. Just, just kind of makes sense. Right, it's yesterday's high, psychological low. Uh, it's got an easy path to get there. It's an easy long right here. I mean, as a long it back, I was saying long it back here. <laughs> you know, when I f when I first came on, so I don't know how long ago that was. An hour ago. <coughs> Let's see something like let's see what Trias is up to. I never really, I never really traded Trias, but I, it looks like it's giving some up now. Yeah, it's going to be an odd cohort of coins that are going to be uh, popping off at different times for different reasons. Like it's very surprising to see, you know, even anything happening with waves. Oh, here we go. Here's OP. Like here, that's what I thought OP was going to do. Uh, yesterday, never made it. Look, look how hard it got checked down here, right? But what did what did the EU Brinks do? The EU Brinks knew, okay, they knew that this area they could drive interest, that they could spike this range to get commitments, and then immediately turned it around from this action here. Right. So yeah, you would you somebody would have been looking to, to I mean people longed here. <laughs> people longed here. All right. So Yeah, they just they just gave him the hot sauce on OP. But yeah, this is I mean, all this I I talked about all this shit this be expected so and now here you go here's here's another big candle with a fucking wick like this right and that new price would come back down to recover this wick which it did and now what you're probably going to see is either what, what, what do we got this is going to go lower no it's going to do this right here here you go probably going to probably going to do this little recovery again bring itself above the the 50. Hold on. I don't want to take it from there. This is good. Seven percent. There you go. I think price is going to go right back up into that area. 
Hey, you know, I'll just copy this. <laughs> it just price moves the same fucking way all the time anyway. Alright. Uh, I'll probably do something like that. <laughs> hey, get itself right back up in there. I'll change it around a little bit. Beep, 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 boop. Get to match up these. These little zones here. It'll, it'll probably get aggressive. It's it'll probably get aggressive like fucking right now. To be honest with you. So, all right, let me run. That's going to be it for me, and uh, check you next time.